What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel coming to you with another edition of Ladies, Leans, Likes, and Locks NBA. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. goes a long way for me on this video. goes a long way for you. That way you become a prize whenever great content is going live here at our little neck of the YouTube woods. Uh, on Friday, ended up having some good stuff from this Denver game. Uh, it was all the way around good. Jamal Murray over points. Kevin Durant over points. And then we ended up on Nikola Jokic triple-double because, of course... If he's nearly plus 300, you hammer that to the moon. We'll talk about that and all the other fixings here at DraftKings Sportsbook and everywhere else in the entire industry. But bet $5, get $150 instantly. Oh, that's great stuff, obviously. Then you've got Jokic. He's going to be playing here later today, too. But the last video I did was for Friday, so whatever. DraftKings Sportsbook, though. Bet $5, get $150 instantly. The link is down there below. I know a lot of you already have DraftKings, but we also have FanDuel going on. Tons of great offers, sportsbook offers, hanging out in that video description box below. Check them out. Use them. Get yourself access to as many books as possible. That's why it's called Odd Shopper, my friends. Only if you're 21 and over, and if you have a gambling problem, please call 1-800-GAMBLER. But we got two games. We've got... I, I feel like I haven't seen the Knicks and Heat play a game in a week what happens when you go out and do things on saturday still feeling saturday a little bit in my bones right now but you know what we're gonna persevere baby i've got my favorite picks my leans my likes my locks for every single one of these games and then of course the late night hammer uh gonna be great golden state lakers that wasn't really a game on saturday watch that one uh yeah i really have nothing else to add here at the beginning i should probably just start now huh you don't want to hear me talk you guys want to get my opinions about world viewpoints and thing nope okay let's get to the picks i'll have it be known that i am a, a big believer in academia making sure you're staying attuned to all that's going on in the world and you have an opinion but sometimes i don't have an opinion about certain things which is which leads me into this knicks and miami game good lord going through that box score going through all of these box scores of every single heat game has just been painful 105-86, no points, nobody enjoys that. Yet Julius Randle continuing to, what, four for 15 from the field. In the first half, thought this was an interesting tidbit, Emmanuel quickly was the only New York Nick who made a three-pointer. That doesn't seem good. And now Emmanuel quickly is doubtful for Monday's game. They are in a world of hurt, quite literally, quite literally. They had, uh, well, Julius Randle couldn't play at the beginning of the series. Then he gets in, Jalen Brunson gets dinged up. He continues to play through injury, playing 38, 40 minutes a night here. So good stuff. Not really. Whatever, though. Here's the thing. We're just going to start with the lean right off the bat here. The Knicks are still going to be my lean if you made me pick a side in this one. I don't have any play whatsoever in terms of uh, the spread. I Four and a half right now seems pretty efficient. But if you just told me that I'm getting plus money, with one of these two teams the heat have been playing a lot better basketball than i think anybody anticipated come this time of the year it's just wild stuff that we're seeing out of them can jimmy butler just carry a basketball team on his shoulders can kevin love continue to just play serviceable minutes and get rebounds for him can gabe vincent kyle lowry continue to carry this basketball team i it's so wild because the Knicks have so much more talent. But no Emmanuel quickly is a big deal. I don't think people recognize that he's an above 75th percentile defensive player for the Knicks so far this season, according to defensive EPM at dunksandthrees.com. So just throwing it out there, that's a pretty massive uh, presence that they're going to be missing. Obviously, that second unit takes a huge decrease going to, what, Quentin Grimes, who's now going to be called into more duty. He did play well in that game to win 26 minutes, just doing the hustle stuff defensive stalwart and then 22 minutes there three for seven from the field in the schlacking in game three down there in miami but i don't really know what to tell you i it's just such a gross gross spot i think to be taking either one of these teams i think the line's pretty efficient i would lean the next money line here though for you but the play the first one that's going to be entering the card is somebody that i think with no emmanuel quickly not that he's going to be seeing some extra usage or anything. He's a starter. He should be out there for quite a bit. But only 25 minutes. They got schlacked. They ended up limiting everybody, it seems like, except for Jalen Brunson. You had some early foul trouble for R.J. Barrett. But R.J. Barrett, I expect to have to be that dude for this Knicks team. You saw 40 minutes, 38 minutes in games one and two. Just 25 last time out. And still put up 14-3-1 in that regard. He's got to be an offensive catalyst because he kind of gets a mismatch. He's pretty 
long and lanky in a way that Cody Martin isn't, even though pretty good defender. Uh, you get guys like Gabe Vincent out there that have to guard RJ Barrett from time to time. And now with Noah Emmanuel quickly, even when that second unit comes around, I mean, Quentin Grimes definitely is not going to be shooting the ball at the kind of a clip that Emmanuel quickly is. Just a foregone conclusion, just a fact. It is what it is. So I think RJ Barrett, you take the entire portfolio. 26 and a half PRA is the number. It projects out really nicely over at oddshopper.com. That's always nice to see when you start doing a market-based approach. You see where the lines are at other spots. And well, this is near the top of the board for us. And I 100% agree for it, uh, agree with it. Have them from a projection standpoint, closer to 29 and a half. That, my friends, is a good enough cushion at 26 and a half PRA. You can get involved in a lot of ways. It's just basically a play on those minutes. All right, y'all, but I do have a lock play for you, and it's actually a total. That's kind of wild to me overall. I uh, should probably pull up my, my index, considering I had that whole thing fired up, and, you know, I want to... God, can you tell I'm hungover? It's fine. No big deal. Either way, Miami, 96.3 possessions per 48 minutes. That, my friends, is not ideal. That is a very, very slow, lethargic pace, and the Knicks really slow themselves. 97.4 possessions per 26 minutes, but you know what happens? When you take Emmanuel quickly, not that, again, he's not the best defender in the NBA, but I think they got to start playing up in pace here a little bit, trying to get Miami off balance because it seems in the half court, they don't have an efficient offense. The Knicks right now are just so bad in the half court. You got to play up in pace. It goes towards the same style. I understand Jalen Brunson did the same thing in Dallas when he was playing for a very slow paced offense there alongside uh, Luka Doncic, but you got to get Miami off balance in the half court right now. They are just shutting every lane down. And I think that's what the Knicks change coming into this game primarily. And we see a number finally that we can take advantage of in the total department. I don't think I've had a total on the card the entire playoffs. Producer Alicia, is that true? I don't think I have. 206 though, my friends, 206. That needs to get fired over. Yeah, I get it. These are two teams that are defensively first. They have not been putting up a lot of points throughout this series. Came off of a game where the Knicks couldn't eclipse 90. That's not good. But 105, 111, 108, 101, even both of those in game one and two would be over of this total. And that, my friends, puts it on the card over 206. Only a one unit play, but my favorite play from Knicks Heat. Oh, look at that. Those were happier days. Look at that. He's such a happy individual. He's so lucky. He's a star, but he cries. Because you don't sign up for DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet $5, get 150 in bonus bets. All you do, $5 on anything. It doesn't even need to win. It could be the worst bet on planet Earth, and it doesn't matter. You're going to get 150 in bonus bets. You simply go to the video description box below. You click on that link. Sign up at DraftKings. Takes you about two minutes to do so. And you will get $150 in bonus bets when you deposit and play $5. $5. We can't do the footlong song anymore because that's canceled. Should be canceled. I'm terrible, dude. But anyway, DraftKings Sportsbook, they're lovely. We love them. Bet $5. Get $150 there. There's also FanDuel Sportsbook, other sportsbooks from time to time showing up in that video description box below. Please check it out. Sign up for it. Get exposure to these other books so you can be shopping for the best lines and you don't have to play ex ex exorbitant juice. You can always find the best book for the best line available. All righty. Oh, that's only if you're 21 and over. And if you have a gambling problem, please call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right. I know we are all looking forward to this next game a lot more than the first one. Let's get to Warriors Lakers. Game four coming off of an absolute schlacking. It feels like there wasn't a competitive basketball game for a week until Boston and Philadelphia just happened. That was wild stuff. Why didn't I bet Philly? I got gun shy, I got a little trigger shy, standing next to the dude at the urinal at the baseball game. You know, I didn't know if I was going to say that bit, but here it is. It's true. It is what it is. But we're going to continue on. We're going to talk basketball. Golden State Lakers game four. We're all excited. You're excited. I'm excited. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, everybody went completely nuts. D'Angelo Russell played some good basketball, but big believer, D'Angelo Russell is only going to be on the floor when he's knocking down shots. He knocked down a lot of them to start off that basketball game. It was, it was wild. Golden State went on a run, and then it was all Lakers that entire second half. Pretty wild run by them. Golden State's going to have to make some adjustments. Now, what do we think they could be? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Just throwing it out there. Play Kavon Looney in the starting lineup instead of Jermichael Green. It worked one time. 
You did your little garbage thing one time. You got away with it one time. You're just going to take Kavon Looney getting 25 boards a game out of the lineup? What are we doing here? I know he was sick for game two, and that was a whole thing for this video, and I can't... It makes me so upset. I can't predict people being sick the next day. That's just not feasible. Just throwing it out there. But Kavon Looney, man, only playing 16 minutes. When you have Anthony Davis down there, just because Draymond Green played well one game on Anthony Davis, and he had Jamichael Green knocking down shots one game does not mean you blow up the centerpiece. Yeah. Angel is the centerfold, my love runs cold. So does J. Michael Green's jump shot normally. So guess what? Yes, Dunn screwed up. Steve Kerr is an overrated basketball coach, and I'm just sick of it. 0 for 3 from 3 for J. Michael Green. 11 minutes that he never should have saw the floor for, period. If you want to play it for your little goofy 4-minute, 6-minute stints, whatever. But get Kavon Looney out on the floor, for the love of God. Here's the thing. I'm actually cheering for the Lakers because I can't stand a lot about Golden State, but it's just one of those things. I just can't stand it when people do stupid. And it's just so dumb. <sighs> All right, I feel better. Do you feel better? I feel better. Let's talk a lean, shall we? Steph Curry over four and a half threes. The man, when you have a competitive basketball game, which this is, once again, projecting out to be, no matter where you're looking, three and a half, three, three and a half, three. I can't imagine that that line moves in any way, shape, or form here. That is, for all intents and purposes, a competitive game. Golden State's been atrocious on the road all season long. Take that for what you will. But Steph Curry, 4 for 10 from 3 here last game. He's going to be out there chucking a lot more. 30 and 32 minutes the last two. You got to project him for 38, 40 minutes here in a must. Well, I'm going to call it a must-win game for it. It's 3-1. Golden State does have some experience losing in that scenario. But winning, that's a different conversation. Uh, Yeah. Steph Curry should not be at four and a half. And I understand this is minus 130, minus 135 pretty much everywhere. It'll probably be juiced up even more because people like me are looking at it. They're hawking it. They're like, mm, should I dive in? And then I'm probably going to end up firing this. So uh, this is a lean that's more of a like for me. I think it goes nicely with all you parlay people. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Okay. I'm really embarrassing myself. Let's talk a like, shall we? How do we not back the Lakers minus three? Curious question. I've been on the Lakers this entire series. I bet them Saturday. I'm going to continue to bet them every game of the series. They're the better basketball team top to bottom. They have a healthy Anthony Davis, even though it looks like he gets hurt every other play. Like legitimately, last game, I thought there were going to be 14 trips to the locker room. There were zero somehow. I don't think he did. Whatever. He looks like he gets sniped from the top row every single time he's underneath and Draymond Green elbows him. And oh, maybe Kavon Looney will actually guard him this game. One can hope. One can dream. So dumb, Steve Kerr. But 32 minutes of Steph Curry, not something you're going to be expecting there. Going to be expecting 38-40. I expect a more competitive game, but Lakers minus three has to be the spot. And that's why Steph Curry goes in the lean department because it's going to be a smaller play than that, which I'm always going to be firing up. But... I got the goods for you. Now, the books have caught on to certain things that we have been firing on on this program nonstop. Whether it was Anthony Davis, blocks plus steals, four and a half is now minus money most places. We're talking crazy moves in some of these lines because, again, Anthony Davis is going to be out there blocking shots, getting steals, doing nonstop defensive things when he's on the floor. And it just seems like books were really slow to react to that. We were able to take advantage of some really good numbers, and now they're washed. But this number is still phenomenal, and it's my favorite play for the entire day, and it's actually going to be something... I mean, I've, I've bet it every single game of this series. Do you remember game one, Dennis Schroeder, my lock play? What was that line? Six and a half minus 110. He's now at nine and a half, and it is still going in the lock category. I don't understand what books are looking at with Dennis Schroeder in these minutes. He averaged... 12 points per game during the regular season in 29 minutes per game. I get that adjustment. I get why it's adjusted to nine and a half, but nine and a half with plus money here, it shouldn't be the case in this series. He played 31 minutes in the only competitive game of this series. He is sharing the floor in a lot of times with D'Angelo Russell, and that gets me extra encouraged because it seems as though, I mean, Austin Reeves did a lot of heavy loading for this for this team. He's having a tough time whether it's Andrew Wiggins out on the floor, some of these other guys. He just hasn't really gotten his footing in this series. Maybe a more difficult match if they anticipated for him here. 
And that's opening up, I believe, more minutes for Dennis Schroeder coming down the pipeline very soon. He's only had to play 19 and 20 minutes the last two games because one was a 127-100 blowout in game two. Golden State just dominated. Game three, same exact thing, 30-point W. Didn't have to play garbage time. They had freaking Troy Brown Jr. out there living his best life. You know? I mean, there were some. There were some goobers out on the floor in crunch time. That was that was kind of fun. Why did DiVincenzo close for Golden State? Somebody explain that to me. He's actually playing meaningful minutes. Whatever. You have to put a human out there, I suppose. Let him go maybe as a playoff bonus. I don't know. But Dennis Schroeder, nine and a half points, plus 110 right now. Fire that to the moon. I don't understand it. He's going to play 30 minutes if this game's competitive. He's one of the best on-ball defenders. He's the best option that they have to face guard Steph Curry. Get Jared Vanderbilt out of here. I, I, Stop it. Dennis Schroeder is going to be out there a lot. So there you go. Nine and a half points. He's just going to run into it. He's an offensive-minded guard, too. He's not bad at basketball. He's not as good as... He's a dumb businessman. He should have signed that contract when Lakers offered it to him the first time. He lost a lot of money, but he's going to win us some money. Dennis Schroeder, over nine and a half points. I've talked enough. Let's get the heck up out of here. And that does it for another edition of Liddy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. Head to that comment section below. Let me know how much you missed me over the weekend. Let me know how much you love me. Only if I win, though. I'm only as good as my last picks. Let's be serious. I, I'm... I'm aware. I'm aware. DraftKings Sportsbook. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. DraftKings Sportsbook. Sign up for them. Bet $5. Get $150 instantly. So many great offers there, whether it's Odd Shopper, whether it's Bet365, whether it's FanDuel, so on and so forth. It's great stuff. Check it all out in that video description box below. It goes a long way for me and this beautiful, lovely video that I give you every single day of the NBA regular season. Didn't miss one of those other than I was in France for two weeks. You don't care. We're going to leave now. I'm Eric Lindquist. Thank you to producer Alicia. Until next time, till Tuesday, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NBA streets on Monday.